a nickel long for turning them bass. Never worry about the price of gas. I've been wheeling and dealing and sitting there in. Hey folks, thanks for tuning in again. This is going to be part two of our Texas hunt, which we're calling the Texas Safari. On this week's episode, we're going to be hunting some whitetails. Uh, I'm personally trying to finish my whitetail slam, which as you can see, I just got my certificate in the mail, so I was quite happy about that. Uh, and we're going to be doing some hog hunting also. Uh, the hog hunting video is not the best, I apologize right off the bat. Gave it to dad and he was having a hard time trying to get it in the viewfinder and find it. Um, I slow mow it down a little bit. If you look in the top left hand corner of your screen, you'll see the hog there just for a couple of minutes. And then when I go to do the kill shot, it's just over to the side. But I bring you everything real straight up and I try never to reenact. Once in a while I'll do like a little just to run some footage, but it's never nothing big. Um, but after that, I think we shoot some squirrels down there. Wait till you see these squirrels. These squirrels are really cool looking nothing like you have up here in northwestern indiana uh, we're taxidermists so whenever we go out on a hunt we always try to get the big game animal which we're obviously hunting after and we try to pick up all the small game animals too just because they fill up the trophy room they look really cool and it gives you more things to go hunting especially if you tag out like me and a lot of the times on the first day on a 10-day hunt or a seven-day hunt it gives you something else to go hunting so that's something just for you to think of when you're there. Make sure you pick up some small game licenses. Ask the local DNR, your guide, hey, is there anything else in? Can I go hunt ptarmigan? Can I go hunt, you know, grouse or pheasants, turkeys, whatever. We went to Wyoming and turkey season's usually always in there. Uh, so you always try to pick up some extra things and you can get some more species under your belt and make your man cave look a little cooler. But uh, I hope you enjoy this week's episode. It's coming at you now. Pick the one you want to shoot, Jim. There's your hole right there in front of us. Can't see the others, Jim. They're behind the trees. Yeah, that's a that's not the one you want. I thought they went to the right behind that bush. No, I got two over there. Oh, okay, you're further over, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a boar. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is he a boar, Jim? Yeah, I can see his pecker. Oh, I see his pecker too. Take him. How far is he, Jim? 300. I can't find him, Jim. Alright, I'm gonna pounds. shoot people. Right. That's a couple hundred pounds. 
right through her. Right through her. <laughs> that other, they're running down towards they us. Ain't going nowhere, that guy. Nope. God damn that, it. That's boy. a powerful gun. Nice. Both it. Nice, huh? Shh, shh, shh. These others are running right at us. Yeah, yeah, you can take another one if you want. Cool. Show me one. They're coming right here to your left, Jim. There they are, right there. Where? That's a oh, big yeah, 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 I see them. I see them. There's that big male, that brown one. Coming up on the opening here. You should be able to wait. Stop. Yeah, that, that one brown one here. I didn't want to kill big it. Big old mane. I kill it. I had a couple of them, but I was like, those are all look smaller. You straight up fucking smoked out. Yeah, that's guns. These ultra mags are powerful, buddy. What is that that you just shot? 300 ultra, ultra, ultra mag. 300 ultra mag. Yeah. And you got the 7 ultra mag. Yeah. And I own a, I got a 330, oh, I got a 338 Ultra Mag, and Jim's got the 375. We got the whole set. I think just dropped. Yeah. Didn't stand a chance up there. Here, pick your. Zoomed in on the way. I like that little black and white one for a full body. 307. <laughs> Down. All right, now we gotta go walk over there. Him up, man. We were way over there. He huh? just jumped up at access. There's Dad. Here's my pig. Me. Okay. About the same. This got better tusk. This is a boar. Definitely a boar. You got better better tusk too. Oh yeah. Uh, it was an angle shot, huh? Oh no, hit right where I aimed. Mm -hmm. Just uphill. Angle shot. Texas pig. Uh-huh. Got some little cutters. Well, you go out at night. It was the biggest one in the group. Yeah, you go out at night and see, see it. You go. He's got good tusks. Well, another one down. A couple more to go. That's what I see going through the grass of the armor bill. Yep. Oh, he's a split. Oh, he's nice. He's split. He's One, two, three, four, five, six, seven points. Holy shit. He's a. Uh, what's wrong with him? Did you get hit already by something? Don't make no more noise. I just left my ass. He's easy. He's dead right now if I want him. He's non typical? He's damn. Yeah, he's non typical. Damn wire. That is one of the rarest axes in the world right there. Non typical. He's non typical. Is there only one there? Yeah. He's all messed up. Pull up further, Rob. We're in the sprout side of So we'll probably do him a favor. See, he's, he's not even a big one. Well, his back's broken. Yeah, he's messed up. I told you I could see every bone in his ribs. He's been hit by a car or something. Still pretty long horns for a must messed up deer. Do you think we do better at the Peter? You're the guy, you tell me. Unless if you're telling us to shoot it, we shoot it. If you tell us we can get better. I'll kill him right now with my pistol. We can get better. I, yeah, I know that, but he's not bad either, you know? You want to shoot him and look at him? <laughs>
Uh oh, he's seen us. He's seen us. I think maybe. He must have. That you hit him in his back. You hit him in the, the rear that time. A little bit, you know, like guts maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I seen him jump. Fucker, rings my arm. Yours. He's still standing. Yeah. Way over him that time. Really? Yeah. He, he's going down. Just leave him alone. He's hobbling. He's gonna run away. <sighs> Did I hit him that time? No, he hit him once. No, he's not. Laying down now. I'm ready when you are. I'm gonna get a little more light. He's not going nowhere. He looks like he's gonna leave. I'll kill him. He's a nice heat pointer. Oh my gosh, there's deers back there behind us. I have to be quiet. That's what he, I think the axes were coming in. A whole bunch of stuff just took off. Well, one in the bush is better than two. One in the hand is better than two in the bush. There's the Peter. He's right there. He's sitting there. My gun's jammed. Oh my gosh. He's there. I got him. All right, let's go get him before he falls down. Oh, go on. He's a nine. Where? He's got two points on his brow time. Oh yeah, I couldn't see it. That's as nice as the one we seen earlier. Is that a big deer, Rob? 
It's a typical deer. Typical? Is that cold deer? No. Better than a cold? Cold? Better than a cold deer? Yeah, yeah, this is a typical hill country deer. It's a good looking buck. A cold deer would, uh, here would be a bad rack on one side or something. Oh, yeah. That is what our hill country deer looks like. Hold him up! You know, we gotta drag him off. I thought Rob was mad at me for shooting. No. Not when I get my paycheck. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Heck yeah. All, me. all right. Look at that, huh? Look at that. That is a typical hook in there. Hold it right there. Turn it back. He's got an the extra kicker. He does, huh? Turn yeah. it the other way. There, you can see that extra ninth point on the back. Yeah. It's well over an inch. These ones aren't even close to falling off yet. Nope. No, sir. <laughs> all right. You mount them? Fucking. <laughs> the whole damn thing. <laughs> This is day three now of our hunting trip down here in South Texas, just right by Mexico. The first day we came in, we shot um, a Hawaiian. I shot a black Hawaiian, a Texas doll, and then a Corsican. Corsican, yeah, Corsican. It's really cool. It's the one with all the different markings. It was one that had the triple curl. And then we shot a hog on the second day, and I, uh, did we get to access that day? I think, yeah, we got to access that day too. In the evening, we shot the hog in the morning, spot and stock, we shot the access that evening. But uh, this is day three now. We shot a squirrel, and dad shot a deer this morning, so hopefully we kill something else. We're gonna roll down here, man. We just stack it up. That freezer's filling up. Stay tuned for more. You're watching Realistic Hunting Adventures. It looks 
like they're good eight pointer, so. Shine the light on his head, Dad. There you go. I think you can see him. I'll show a video of him laying here. It's just a six pointer, but completes my first slam for the white tail slam. And we seen bigger, but they were on another ranch and couldn't shoot them. And then we seen another bigger one, but we were uh, sheep hunting, so we passed on it, but it's getting down to the wire, so I shot this guy tonight. The video's a little dark, but we got him out. Dad came and tracked him for me. I like him though. He's Texas deer. These things are tough to kill. Perfect shot, a 300 Ultra Mag. The sucker still ran like 70 yards. He shouldn't have went anywhere. There he is. We're just stacking the bodies down here in Texas. <laughs> Whacking and stacking. All right. Hope you liked it. Stay tuned for more. You're watching Realistic Hunting Adventures. Come get in here, Dad. In my tracker. I couldn't find him. There's the tracker. What do you think? I think we got him. Oh, we got a little nub there. Stacking the carcasses up. We got some good sheep. Uh huh. Access. Yeah. Now we're going to try to get some more access. More access. We shot squirrels. You name it, we're killing it. Jackie rabbits. Yep. We're whacking and stacking. <laughs> All right. Now we got work to do. Cold deer. Texas cold deer. All right, here. This, this is YouTube, so we don't care. There ain't no censoring on YouTube. Look at that hole. And, and, and he, he still went 75 yards. At least it over it, jumped up. Maybe 100. Yeah. We'll go back and step it off tomorrow, but I'm thinking maybe 100. Hop the fence, even. Yep. Unbelievable, these Texas deer. Texas everything. Yeah. Well, folks, as you can see, that was not my best uh, videos that I produced. The uh, pig hunt was not being able to be on the pig, and then my whitetail hunt was super, super dark to say the least. Uh, I tried to lighten it up on the computer, and it it just wasn't looking good, so I just left it the way it was. Uh, when you see, and I backed the video up and I turned and talked, you could see it was still light out. I really got to invest some more money in getting a better camera because um, it really shaves off like a good 20 minutes of my shooting time uh, being able not to film because the camera's not sucking in enough light. And since that was the last year I needed to complete my slam, I wasn't going to let it slide, so I just went ahead and took it. But hey, you got to see it on the ground. It was a Mac Daddy, wasn't it? I mean, all six points were there. <laughs> We've seen bigger, like I said, but uh, it was down to the wire. I let them all walk. I've killed a great big old deer. Don't need to kill a great big old deer to be happy. Uh, I was tickled to death with him. Came home with a Texas whitetail. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, like I said, that was a cool looking squirrels. We shoot a squirrel, two squirrels, axis deer, the hog, and two whitetails. So. That was a pretty good trip. Like I said, we're whacking and stacking down there. Uh, it's going to continue. I got a couple more to put out here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this one. Like I said, apologize for not being the best, but uh, stay tuned. Next week's episodes are going to be a lot better. Uh, always remember, God bless and keep hunting. Thanks for watching.